You know, Mauricio, I get asked that question every day. Every day I get asked that question. And they were all, I mean, I could pick them out. Um, my second fight, sec, my second, even my second professional fight, uh, Louis the Bull Rodriguez. Uh, that was my first fight, Louis the Bull Rodriguez. Willie, Willie Claude Ball Rodriguez was the second fight who hurt me, who knocked, almost knocked me down. Wow. Uh, Tommy Hearns was a beast because he had the long jabs and the power in his right hand. Roberto Duran, uh, Hansel Stone. Oh, I mean, I, I can, I can, I can smell his breath right now. I can go back that that far in time to feel it. Um, Wilfred Benitez, and he doesn't get credit because he he didn't beat either of us, but he he took me to school. He was so composed. I never missed so many punches in my life. Wow, you know, I was watching one thing about this. Uh about this thing of being in lockdown, I've been watching lots of fights. And I just watched the Hearns, the first one. And it's so dramatic because he started very fast, very strong. Mm -hmm. Then you got the middle rounds, but then you faded away. Right. In the nine, 10, something on, on it, because he was looking and then he took a second breath and then you come back. 13 and 14 with that dramatic, uh, that takes a lot of courage. And I, I used to love the way Angelo Dundee talked to you in the corner. Mm -hmm. he, was he a good motivator? He was, well, it, I didn't need the motivation, but he said the right thing at the right time. He said, you're blowing it, son, you're blowing it. And without even looking at me, is just what he said, and I, I, I picked myself up. I was exhausted, and I went out there to be aggressive because the fight was too close to be, to be comfort. I mean, I, I, I went in, I went into that, I went out there for the next 12, 13, 14, 15 rounds with the mission. And Tommy, I take my left eye was closed. Tommy, Tommy's jab, and that that little time was a, as good a boxer as he was, as he displayed. Uh, that was one of my, if not the toughest fight of my of my career. Yeah, it, it, it took you had to go all the way deep, all the way, all the way. You know, and again, I was. It's hard to to really, really give you a feel of how it felt because I was so tired, and that's when it talk it calls upon your intestinal fortitude, your heart, what you're made of, who you are, and how bad you want to win. And when I want to win, which was all the time, well, a couple of times, well, a couple of times I didn't want, I, well, I always want to win. But the moment I call upon that, that thing inside of us, we all have it. We just don't, we can't all can't activate it. It's when I come back strong. Even with Lala, Donnie mm -hmm. Lala, same thing. Yeah, that, that, that was, uh, we were talking, Donnie Lalonde uh, was strong. You know, that fight, is historic because uh, you were the super middleweight champion and no, he was the light heavyweight champion. Yes, yes. And the WBC created the super middleweight uh, division. Right. So that fight was for two titles. Yes, it was. And, uh, and you are the only one who has ever conquered. And that fight, he was so strong, you, you were telling me. It was uh, Mauricio. He uh, uh, one day we'll sit down and watch the fight, and I'm going to tell you what they didn't see. The fact that I couldn't fight him inside because he hurt me every time inside because he was so strong. But I I kept my composure because the first time he knocked me down, I wasn't hurt. It was uh, kind of a uh, on the temple knocked off my equilibrium, and I went down. But I got up and I was very composed and I knew he was going to come at me. And he came at me and he pushed, he kind of pushed himself out and I hit him to the body. I, we'll talk about this. We'll show you this fight <laughs> when we get together. <laughs> but you know, when, when, uh, when you heard him, because I think it was the ninth round. Eighth round, eighth round. Was it eighth round? I believe the ninth round was a knockout. Well, I might be wrong. But 
he was he was, nice. he was, he was nice. hurting you yes. and then you came back and once you heard him my father used to say that none other than sugar ray leonard had that instinct when 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 the opponent was hurt he would just uh, go out and and finish him up that was yeah. that was a very uh, unbelievable knockout well the thing about it because again i I rely, I don't, no, no, it happens, it just intuitively happens. I get that second win. When I hurt an opponent, nine times out of 10, I get him out of there. And the same thing happened with Lalonde because he hurt me and, uh, and I just went, I just, just went off, just went off. I started throwing so many punches and to get him out of there. 